Welcome. E aí, galera, beleza? Bem-vindo à nossa comunidade. Welcome to our community. Hey, what's going on, guys? Uh, today we have a wonderful video. We're going to be looking at the Colosseum playing as human. Uh, before we begin, uh, we uh, get to do our shout out from the video from Wednesday. So the first person to post was Mr. Alberto. Second person to post was Unknown. Third person was Jerry. And uh, Shazan was fourth. So congratulations, guys. Uh, posting in the comments is finally paying off. So for the next video, I'm probably not going to do a shout out until Monday's video. Um, so whichever comment I find the funniest, uh, please be as creative as possible. I will post. Uh, so the last thing I want to mention before we jump into this is I changed up the, uh, what, what I was wearing today. I, I feel like uh, I don't ever want to be one of those uh, YouTube people that uh, sells out or anything like that. Um, so I figured uh, I switch up what I was wearing today. That way it's just we're not being overloaded with OGC related type of things. So that's why I'm wearing Boston Bruins. Um, and actually anything in the background that you like, um, please check out the description. There, there is a shop down there. Uh, I am not sponsored by Lilith. I am not sponsored by anybody. Um, this is all on my own free will, hoping to help out other people. Um, so, and anyways, I, I, I digress. Uh, there's some cool colors in the background. I picked out the pink just for Chan. So let's jump into some P, uh, PvP videos from the Coliseum. Important to remember in the Coliseum, stats do not matter, which is the only reason why I'm able to do a couple useful things. So let's jump into it. So our first fight is going up against a person named Jack. Um, Jack is dwarf. He's got 1.4 million HP max. Uh, so I was a little nervous going in. Um, I, actually, Jack attacked me. Uh, I I try not to attack players in, in my own house or alliance. Um, unless they attack me, then I, I figure, hey, if they want to attack me, then I'll attack them. So Jack actually attacked me. Uh, find out in your house uh, and on your server how you guys do things. Different places are, the, the, it's all different all around. Um, for for me, uh, I take it upon myself, I try not to attack friends. Um, but that's just me. Anyways, from the PvP you can uh, see, it took me a while, but the, the double Yip, Mako, and Archers, along with Jax, ended up finally taking down some, some mechs on the bottom. The snipers are all already off. Uh, the snipers really don't do too much against human. Maybe if they get a, a lucky headshot on Av uh, not Avalon, I, I'm sorry, on Virian, that might be awesome. Blasters is the way to go against human. Blasters are also work very well going up against uh, uh, Lich Undead. They just blow up those skeletons. So oh, I gotta charge my phone. But the thing with all of those mechs is it takes me some time to move around. Now since Jack attacks me, I don't need to worry about uh, the time. I, I can time out the battle. Uh, he has to kill me before the time ends. And it looks like, do I get him in time? Alright, we got the moral boost, so I think we got it right at the end. So this next one is up against somebody named uh, Sergio. Sergio and I core, uh, we we're usually within like uh, 10 to 20k. Sometimes he's ahead of me, sometimes I'm ahead of him. It all depends on the research. So he decides to attack me. Foolish, foolish. Uh, he can actually destroy me because he has a human pred dragon. I have a human pred dragon, uh, and he is clearly not playing humans. So. Inside the Colosseum, though, it's a little bit different. My Jax, along with the human archers, literally shred down his scorpions as if they weren't even there. From there, I mean, it, it's over. He just collapses, Jack's side is dead, uh, and, and now it's a matter of swinging around. One, one important thing that we can talk about while all of his troops slowly die is in the Colosseum, the battles are only a minute and 30 seconds long, as opposed to regular PvP, where they're two minutes long. So 
Take that into consideration when you are attacking people or when you are setting up your defense. Sometimes it's uh, pretty easy to stall people out. Um, other, other times it, it can be really hard to finish within uh, 90 seconds of, of a PvP, especially if it's close. But this was a little bit of Lich. It wasn't challenging at all for me. So this next fight, we're going up against uh, somebody that's a thousand K core higher than, than us. Uh, they attacked me. Um, you'll just be able to, to watch. It's, it's pretty evident what, what happens. Uh, their archers have so much more health than mine. Uh, their swords have so much more health than mine. It, it's, uh, it's crazy and it's scary. But I give them credit. They, they did come in. Uh, they did uh, take a bunch of points from me. They are a very strong player, um, and actually an, an old friend of mine. Uh, we are from uh, the original server, um, original house that I joined, the first house I ever joined, and played with him through uh, through the server merge. And um, yeah, very very strong opponent. Uh, also a pretty pretty smart one. Um, but yeah, he came out here and he destroyed me. I I didn't stand a chance. I I felt like he. Uh, level 25 castle going up against somebody that had all like level 15 troops and he just walked all over me as if it was a speed run i am happy that i was able to survive for just about 60 seconds in this next fight i ended up attacking george um, i apologize to him afterwards uh, I was getting frustrated because I could not find opponents. But if you look at the top with uh, the two two trees and the Belrog, um, the Huntresses evaporate in front of them. The human archer buffs that, that ignore the evade for their first shot, then every one 20 seconds afterwards, is huge against Huntresses. The double yip helps out. And I was actually surprised that his uh, trees fell uh, before all of his Huntresses. Uh, the Huntress is on the bottom, at least. So, uh, George is a really good guy. I, I've seen him defending uh, cities all day long. Um, good good guy. He's way faster at dueling people than me as well. Um, I, I really wanted those fights, but he, he jumps in pretty fast. So, the, this nice person, uh, they, they have... Um, 284,000 HP uh, swords, um, really high chakra, like 30 troops in each pack. It, it's pre pretty crazy. They are from the same house. Um, the other day they, they attacked me with like, uh, the attack ended like five seconds before uh, Coliseum ended. So I, I didn't really feel too bad attacking them uh, a few times. So uh, you can see that the, the, the Rockins they did decent on the bottom portion, but my, my power side ended up cutting through. Um, my bottom side is barely holding on. Luckily, I, my Belrog got a lot more tanky. I'm lear learning some things about Belrog. And uh, Belrog, along with uh, swords down there, are able to tank things up. Those swords, when they do get resurrected by Virian, so tanky, guys. It's, uh, it's pretty unbelievable. But now we're just going to swing on down, clean them up. Uh, the Human Pred Dragon definitely helps versus Rock and uh, cuts down on their swarming ability quite a bit. So I decided to attack this guy. He's he's a uh, 200k core higher than me. Um, very strong consciousness. And this is one of those fights, I, I technically lose this uh, because it the fight would have lasted maybe 95 seconds or something like that. Uh, this is one of those things where it's important to remember that it's only 90 seconds in the Coliseum. You can actually see his hunches made it very deep, his two packs. The second pack made it like back towards my archers. In the top, I, I do have trouble taking down his, his Belrog. His Jax is up there. Luckily, his Jax is shooting at my Swordsman. Um, and then their Jax takes out my Virian. So luckily Denji was able to absorb enough. Denji has uh, the five star edge on him. So Mako did kill Denji, but Denji was resurrected with full HP and starts moving around. 
Now, I had a few things as my saving grace. Uh, first, his Mako and Jax kept attacking my swordsman and uh, didn't attack my Jax that was standing wide out in the open. And then uh, the Virian bought me so much time. Now, I didn't have Virian to resurrect, and I probably would have won this uh, within the allotted amount of time if it wasn't for the spider web. Um, no excuses, I, I, I lose it due to the time. I'm, I'm just saying that spider web is very good in a defensive uh, formation, especially if you have the possibility of stalling out a fight. Uh, and it is evident uh, through an example of, of this uh, fight right here. So it winds down, I, I, I get pretty close, but no cigar. Um, So this one I decided to attack a, another green person. This person's core is only 1800. So even if your core is not super high, if you participate in the Colosseum right before the end, you can move up pretty high. On the top of the screen uh, where my Jax is shooting in, they had three packs of melees all lined up right there. Uh, so one of the things with humans is you have to have support for your frontline troops. It doesn't matter if it's Virian for the resurrection, there has to be something to back up your front line. So anyways, this was a little bit of a speed run for me. Let's jump into the next one. So for this next one, I was pretty much a, um, <laughs> I'm just going to get run over by this person. They, I'm a speed run for them. They have insane chakra. Their archers have tens of thousands of damage on mine, and they have the Zen uh, Templars. Uh, so they have a wonderful formation with spears backed by archers, backed by Templars to run through with uh, Jax, um, and Avalon, and, and Mako to, to support. So they crush my bottom side. I got, uh, I got pretty excited at this, to be honest with you guys, and I challenged them in the real world. Because I thought that if I could stall out on that bottom side... Um, in order to collapse their spears with, through like a black hole followed by like an earthquake that I might be able to take them on. I can't. This person is really strong. I, I think they, they only have 500k core on me, but uh, they're, they're very strong in the real world. Uh, I definitely need to stay on top of my honor farming to work on getting better stats. But here, yeah, I was a speed bump in their road. In the last fight of the day, Mr. AHS uh, wanted to seek revenge on me. Uh, this time he did not deploy Rufio, uh, which was a, uh, a, a good idea. Um, so he comes out. There's a few things with this that I, I think are kind of important. The first is he had three silver trees. So for things like Colosseum, um, not good. Uh, definitely want all of the gold. Um, I understand completely why he used the silver trees uh, through through talking with him. It makes sense for, for his, his situation. Uh, but for you guys at, at home, uh, always go into the Coliseum using gold. Now, my problem is I have the support in order to uh, keep my swordsman up. And actually, my, my Virian's in a very safe place on, on the bottom line. Uh, down in the bottom, he's got his, his dragon, uh, which I think that one's, uh, I'm not sure what, if that's hero pred or if that's human pred, but it, I, I have faith that AHS has a very good uh, blue dragon. I can't kill him on the bottom, and you can see from his Belrog, I literally cannot kill his Belrog. His Belrog is unkillable for me. I also cannot kill his trees. However, at the same time, I have so many swordsmen, and my swordsmen are able to get resurrected so frequently that um, I, he, he can't finish me off either. So this one end, ends up going, and uh, it gets stalled out. Since AHS uh, attacked me, trying to avenge me for uh, his Rufio costing him the matches earlier, uh, the win go, goes to me. Good, good fight, AHS. He's still got me. So with, with that, guys, that, that's some human fights from, from the Coliseum. I hope you guys in, enjoyed. Uh, please like and subscribe to the channel if you have not already. Feel free to spread these videos around. That helps us out the most. If you guys want to be, become part of the Patreon uh, or Discord or seek out merch, um, feel free to find that information out from below in the description. Uh, we do have the uh, 
in in game um ogc community chat uh, you guys are more than welcome to hop in there to, to talk with us uh but until tomorrow guys i will talk to you later